Hey guys! Hey everyone. Shannon Heaton here. Matt Heaton here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Connor Hearn. Connor is filling in for Matt. Delighted to have you join us Thanks in the Heaton me, studio. <laughs> Thank you. So welcome friends. Bob, you were first in the room. Hi in Wisconsin. Thanks for joining us. And to Adele in Halifax, glad that you are doing your Irish language group this afternoon. Sounds dreamy. I wish I could um, say that in Irish to you, but I cannot. Ted in Ottawa. Hi and welcome. Mar Marco and Jeanette. Ciao, my friends in uh, Italy, and to Julie and John down the road. Nice to see you. Hi, Mike. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, Arthur in France. Good evening to you, Jocelyn in Pittsburgh. Robert and Susan Hay in Tennessee. Hi, Fel in Southern California, and Johnny also in California. And Matt Heaton is tuning in from the road. I hope that your drive is going uneventfully, and glad to have you, my darling. What dedication. <laughs> Allison in France, hello and welcome to you from the Mist Covered Mountains, Gradus in Amsterdam, hello and welcome, and to Jean, nice to see you, Have a, uh, thanks for joining us. Maria in the UK, hey, hey, welcome. Hi, Jürgen in Sweden, happy to have you here, and Mike in Portland, glad the snow is gone. Saul in Michigan, actually in Cincinnati, I'm glad you're joining us, even with low volume. Yoe in Florida, hi, my friend, good to see you again. Gabriella in Germany, hey. Hey, and welcome to you. Hey, Jennifer and Ypsilanti, I was just thinking of you because, in fact, I'm drinking some water, and my water is sitting on this coaster, the Ypsilanti Water Tower coaster. So, good timing, and always happy to have you here. To Pat in Ohio, hi and welcome. Glad to have you on the piano. Hi, John in Middletown. Nice to have you joining us. You're listening to Connor's new album? Oh, great. Maybe. Is that, is that right? I think so. Yeah. It's a beauty. Great. Um, you want to tell them about your new album? I made this record um, with, I mean, I, I presume that he's talking about a record that I made with a duo partner that I play with named Maura Sean Scanlon. Um, we put a, a record last year called Counting Down the Hours. Maybe that's the one we've played near Maybe. Middletown before, I think. Yep. Oh, and also I think he might um, have gotten a copy of our Lover's Well album as well. Totally, but yeah. they're both beautiful. Um, I thought he was talking about you as well. Um, but Maura, of course, has joined our session before too. Many here love Maura's playing. So this is the other half of the duo, Rakish. Really in for a treat today. Larry in Maryland, hi and welcome. Welcome to you. Happy to have you joining us. Uh, good flutes in the house. Margo in Chicago. Aga in Poland. Hello, and I heard that you had a meetup recently. I have to hear all about that. Hi, Steve in Scotland. And to Paul in JP. Hi and welcome. Evelyn and Charles. Hi, nice to see you again. And thanks for joining us. Evelyn was at our in-person session in Medford oh, and yeah. started Helvic Head. That was a really good moment. Wes fun. and Julie in Frederick. What's that? It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Uh, to uh, Elizabeth, uh, icky snowy outside Boston, it's really gloppy. To Allison in Rhode Island, and to Doug in Minneapolis with mando and guitar. And um, Matt, um, yes, it is impressive to have uh, our Matt joining us from the back seat. Peter in San Diego, Cindy in New York, welcome all. And to Katrina, um, hi to you, and thanks for giving Connor a welcome. Oh. Katrina's dancing uh, with us today, and let's see, to um, Jean is also on the Mando and uh, today, and to Ray in Albany, hey and welcome back, and uh, your performance with Mora at BCM Fest, Allison was there. You're very kind, thanks. Hey Neil, Mando Lessons, I'm glad you're keeping up with it, and thanks for joining us after the Mando Lessons live stream. Nancy, hello and welcome to you. Karen in Inverness, hi and welcome to you, and Gilda in Brittany. Wonderful to have you joining us, everybody. We're gonna start off with a warm-up jig called Pull the Knife and Stick It Again. Hey, Tom in Portsmouth, welcome to all. So here we go, E minor, just nice and slow, ease in. Sang it in the wrong key. Ready? One, two, here we go.
exciting. <laughs> <laughs> we always like to keep people guessing. Surprise chord at the end, just just for um, those who are paying extra close attention. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a little ghost. Yeah. It was a ghost. Well, there, I think there must be a ghost in the room, really. Matt made a joke about it must be one heck of a microphone, and it's really a very, very um, pedestrian microphone that we got from our friend Eric Merrill when he was moving out of town. Gave it to us for free because he was like, yeah. it's too heavy. <laughs> like, it's, I, I don't want it. Um, it is totally fine. It is a Studio Projects B1 microphone for you audiophiles out there in the audience. Um, in the audience. In our community, you might um, laugh. It's really an unremarkable microphone. But I have to say, it does work in this room. I think there's some alchemy between, like, this little room and uh, the friends in it. Uh, and uh, folks, if you've never joined us before, you might not know, but I typically do this with Matt Heaton on guitar, and Connor is filling in today. Delightful to have you joining us, and I feel like you have the same magic with the ghost of the room, you know. I'm just doing my best Matt Heaton impersonation. That's, I'm just working on a, <laughs> getting all the body language down and everything. <laughs> so Matt, did you hear that? You're going to have to grow a mustache now, yeah, so yeah. you guys can... <laughs> so Ghislaine, hello, and welcome to you and Carrie in Florida. Welcome to have you joining us Happy to have you joining us. Sheldon in Minnesota. Um, so nice. Folks are tuning in. And in fact, yes, you were on Tune Supply concerts for sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It was a different time. <laughs> yeah, and we're continuing the live streams here because our community has grown past the virtual and um, we're really staying active here. Some of these folks have met up in person from connecting on the VGS. Which That's is awesome. Mm. And, oh, Baron, how nice to see you. So you've made a joke about your box playing. Later on, we're going to play banjo and box, and it's going to be atrocious. So you'll be in <laughs> good company. Not your part, my part. Um, and Saul, I'm sorry that your internet is glitch glitching, but we're happy to have your presence in any way, anytime. Hi, Tom. Nice to have you joining us from California. And Mary in Oregon. And yes, hello from France. Woohoo! Exciting. Okay, we're going to carry on with some beloved reels with Jackie Coleman's in D and Father Kelly's in G. Hey, Ken, glad to have you here. This is so sweet, friends. Okay, so the first one goes in D, followed by. Father Kelly's. All right, here we go. I would die. One, two.
right. Uh, so, Dat, welcome. Gam Un for weighing in on the sound. I switched the mic just a little bit closer to Connor, and Connor played out just a little bit more. So let us know how the balance is at this point. Trust Dynamics. your ears very well. Um, and Ken asks, what model guitar you have? Oh, yeah. It's... um. It's kind of an interesting, it's not that interesting. It's kind of a funny shape. It's called a jumbo cutaway 16. It's got 16 frets up to the cutaway. But if you take the cutaway away, it's not really a jumbo guitar. So it's kind of its own size. It's like sort of a dreadnought, but it's a little bit more um, pinched in, like in this direction, I guess. It's not quite as wide as a dreadnought, plus it has a cutaway. I've no, I haven't seen a lot of other Martins this shape, but yeah, JC16 is the cool model number. Nice. That's interesting enough. Yeah. It'll okay, do. Good. <laughs> and Elena, hi and welcome to you. Wow, we have a lot of friends we haven't seen in a while uh, joining us today. And uh, Aga, glad you're enjoying it. Did you have your in-person meetup? Tell us more. Um, so a number of folks here have sort of connected via the chat, really, from week to week. Awesome. And then via our... Facebook group sharing practice videos and such and then when folks are in other countries visiting they've gotten a chance to connect which is super so cool. cool super and Jim hey hey nice to have you tuning in I hope you're doing well on the fiddle and the uh, flute and that um, oh you're on the road today but yes you're all over the place just like Ray has been traveling a lot um, good Baron glad that there's a great balance and Petter Nice to see you. And yes, Petter's also a guitar player. So Matt's oh, yeah. often in standard tuning. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm actually playing in drop D tuning right now. Um, you know, a little bit of, of everything for me, but um, mostly drop D these days. But I'm glad I, fool I got you fooled. The goal is to sort of do dad daddy things and whatever. So if it looks like that, then... Yeah, I think that's Matt's MO too, like playing standard or drop D. Make but it sound aiming, like Dadgad. Yeah, make it sound like Dadgad, yeah. but still have the versatility of not being stuck yeah. in a certain shape like Dadgad. And Grania and Carrie, hey, glad to have you joining us. Hope you and the family are doing well. So we're going to carry on with the lovely <laughs> Collier's Jig, which was the Tune of the Month selection, which I posted just a few days ago. And then we're going to go into a minor jig called the Lilting Banshee. Da, 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 one, two.
not usually our MO to speed <laughs> up, um, but every once in a while we do these slow, slow, fast sessions where we play the tunes like incredibly slow. Nice. And the idea is to make them musical still when you're super, super slow and to say super, super relaxed. Totally. And then just go and play them fast once. And we're going to do another Slow So Fast in April. I'll keep it posted, friends. But in the meantime, a big welcome to Joy, who came here because of Baron. So, friends, if you don't already know this, because some of you join in, the hour before ours, our friend Baron Collins Hill has a great live stream geared toward plectrum players, but anybody can join in. It's a really wonderful hour of music, great tunes, great instruction um, through just kind of casual playing, um, uh, like this one, you know, kind of yes. engaging. Um, so check it out at Mando Lessons. You can search on YouTube for Mando Lessons if you don't already know about it. Um, great. So Joy, I'm glad you joined us from Baron's live stream. How sweet. And yes, the change from the Colliers into the Little Tink Banshee was really great, Matt. Wasn't that nice? But of course, every set of tunes we do on this live stream tends to feature really nice changes from one tune to the next, don't oh, you think? Yeah. I, I mean, I couldn't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> and Aga, oh this is amazing that you and Anya, um, I, I think, uh, met up. Uh, Aga is in Poland. Oh, and uh, someone in Slovakia, actually, they met up. And Grania and Allison in Ireland and France met up recently. So, oh, yeah. so, so, so sweet. So Anna uh, studied in her city, hence the connection. And that is so oh. incredibly cool. I just love it. I hope you um, had a really nice time. And that is just so sweet. It does really make the world smaller. Amy, I'm glad you're here. So this completes our Southern California gang. We've got a whole tribe there. They've been meeting up in person to play music. They knew each other from before, but also still joining here, which is so, so sweet. Oh. Um, and Arthur, uh, nice to see you back with the potatoes. And Shannon, happy to have you joining us as well. Lots of folks tuning in nice. from Barron's. That's great. Um, does my flute have uh, keys on it, Dat, you ask? In fact, it does. I have six keys. Um, I have an E, uh, sorry, I have a D sharp. I have two different F natural keys. I have a G sharp. I have a long C key and I have a B flat key. So really I can accommodate a lot of different keys that the uh, key signatures, that the keyless flutes, it's a little bit more cumbersome. But sure, we'll keep it country here and we'll stick with the people's keys of G and D for this next set of barn dances. So the first one, Johnny, will you marry me? And the second one, Miss Galvin's. Oh, these are very lovely tunes. Mm. Johnny, will you marry me? Do, 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 like that. Two. Here we go. Woo!
lovely. <laughs> so I really am feeling very at home playing with you. All right. Uh, Connor lives just down the road and lovely player, nice person. We're part of the um, the Medford Irish musician all star. Kaylee Band. <laughs> yes, and just the Medford <laughs> Collective. There are lots of Irish musicians here in Medford. I'm wearing my dress that my mom recently fixed. One of my favorite dresses, it ripped and she fixed it. Uh, Matt Heaton is tuning in. This is like great. And that set of um, lovely barn dances or flings, I suppose they are. Are they flings? They might be flings more. But um, I included them in my first 50 book. Uh, in which I played every track with a fiddle player, cool. different fiddle players, um, so that I could present the tunes without fussy ornamentation. In fact, we challenged ourselves to use almost no ornamentation. Nice. But showed fiddle bowings and flute breaths. Nice. And for that set of tunes, I played with, with George Keith, who was at our local Irish music session on oh, Wednesday, right. which was so lovely. And Medford, or Boston-based friends, we're going to do another one at the Medford Brewing Company on Wednesday March 22nd, 6 to 8 p.m. So join us if you're around. We'd love to have you. And um, so, uh, Ray, you said you'd never play Johnny Will You Marry Me in that key, in that key of G. Did you play it in A normally? I think maybe sometimes it's in A. And um, Jennifer, thank you for complimenting my flute tone. That comes, uh, that's a high compliment for my fellow lovely flute player. Mm. Very, very sweet. Um, Baron, those tunes really do kind of slap on the mandolin. Cool. They, yeah, those cool. would be good. I could hear you playing them. In fact, I hear you playing them right now, and it's great. <laughs> I'm sure it would be awesome on the accordion as well. Maybe we can have a duet on the accordion, you and me. <laughs> uh, the Medford Connection. Okay, yeah. what's next? Uh, some reels. We're going to do, uh, just put them in the chat there, Reels, Man of the House, into, no, uh oh, That's it. I have to write the beginning of it. Okay. Oh, uh, what's up, Joe Dazarn? How's it going? Oh, Joe. Nice to see you, my friend. Woohoo! We've got a good uh, band in the house. I wish we could hear everybody at once. Yeah. Wouldn't it be so sweet? Okay, and the third. Boy, this is taking me a long time to get out. The third <laughs> turn. I think it's called Anderson's. I wasn't sure what it was called. I okay, had to play okay. it into Tune Pal, and it said 97% confidence. It's called Anderson's. That's more than I'm usually confident about anything. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's how it starts. All right, so here we go. Man of the house first. One, two.
Yay! <laughs> All right, so that was the first one that we got comments about a little bit of speedy. Yeah, yeah. And that's okay. You know, variety is the spice of life. We don't always keep it super slow on the virtual guided session. As we have said in the past, over three years of meeting with friends, we have actually, in many cases, I say we, I mean a lot of us have actually used pandemic time and now post-pandemic yeah. time wisely and made a lot of improvements. So um, really a lot of folks have become faster players. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not that it's about speed, you know. Um, it's about comfort. Totally. Always. Mm. Comfort before speed. Comfort begets speed. Or slow and lovely, right? Either way. Um, and Jackie, I'm glad you're loving the base runs. Woo, some tasty stuff. Um, yo, I, oh, you want to see my scribblings? They're pretty funny. <laughs> um, for example, here, I'll show you makes for really good TV. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. That's how I had to write for Kitty Gone and Milken. <laughs> um, that doesn't, that, that's how it works for me. <laughs> and let's see. Uh, Man of the House, Petter, that's a nice little ending there. That's a handy little turnaround. And I think that you've kind of like put your finger on it, isn't it? It's like a lot of the ways that the tunes end and turn around, mm -hmm. that's really where the goods are. Mm -hmm. Hence, Speed ain't where it's at. It's getting those little bits, I think. Totally. Couldn't agree more. What's that book by um, Kenny Warner? Effortless Master. Yeah, that's the one, you know. That guy is a, is a master. Yeah. Mm, the meditations are really nice, huh? Mm -hmm. You know it. Yeah. Oh, I love that book. Oh, Jonathan in Brazil, nice to see you. Matt, uh, my friends, for those of you tuning in later, actually, I never even said this. Matt <laughs> is away for a couple weeks. He and Karen Casey are doing a bunch of shows, um, and they're now in the wilds of Maine, I believe, mm -hmm. before wending their way down to um, DC. Uh, they'll be in uh, Boston tomorrow, Club Passim, for two shows. The, the 8 p.m. is sold out, but the 5 p.m., I think a couple tickets left. Uh, Club Passim, and then heading down to New Jersey, um, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, Michigan, all sorts of wonderful places. So that is where Matt is, and I am lucky to be here with Connor today, enjoying I'm the lucky tunes. Lucky to be here. <laughs> enjoying the tunes. And let's see. Uh, so again, Yoe, you are very wise. You find that the first part of the tunes are harder to get, and the second ones tend to flow easily. That's interesting. I find sometimes the other way is that people can grab the A part of the tune and then the B part tends to be more labored or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, can be the case, but like you said, sometimes the second part is easier to grab if there's repeated material. Yeah, you already have learned more than half the tune sometimes by the term, time you've learned the A part. Yeah, yeah, good, good. I mean, you know, powers of observation. The biggest muscle in Irish music is between your ears. <laughs> Uh, look, come on, all these backers and melody players. Yay, Connor, yay, Connor. And Carrie, I aspire to slow. That is good. I think in general, I could aspire to more slow in general. And uh, let's see. Um, I'm so glad, Dat, that the flute sounds extra good today. Who knows? Maybe it's also the, um, the humidity. I think it's time, though. I think it's time to mess all of that up. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, grab yeah. the banjo and the accordion. Oh, yeah. um, and Anna, I'm so glad to see you here. Aga's here as well. Wonderful to have you tuning in from Slovakia. And Jenny and Kong and Margaret, the two of you are there together. Oh my gosh, come on, guys. This is so great. I love the in-person and the virtual. Happy with all of it. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. Huh? We're going to do Let's this. Do Let's do it. Now, Speaking of playing slowly. What do you got? What do you want to play? Um, do those those jigs? Um, yeah, rolling waves. Yes, rolling waves. So this is the year, friends, that I really, really try to learn the accordion, and I had my first accordion lesson yesterday. It was so exciting, and I learned a lot, uh, including the fact that I'm going to totally overhaul the way I do a few things. So I'm going to try my best to not do any ornamentation, like any rolls, because I don't want to do it the wrong way. I'm going to keep right. it dead simple, because um, I don't want the bad habits anymore. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be simple and terrible. <laughs> Same. So this is beginner's mind. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. Slow. Yeah. Do, 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 do. One, two. <laughs> Thank you. 
sweating a little bit. Yeah, no, like I know. Like I started sweating a little it, bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it very much. It's a lovely, lovely combo, the banjo and the oh, accordion. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the diehard duo of all time. <laughs> And there was Can't something really it. giddy and exciting about playing your second instrument or third instrument yeah, or whatever yeah. and um, not totally nailing it, mm-hmm. but um, it's funny. Anyway, yeah. it's fun. Especially when you take some risks. You yes. Know. Yeah. yes, there yeah. were some risks that worked yeah. and then right after that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. All right, um, back to the power spot a little bit because even for the beginner's mind, I think um, the ego is real, isn't it? <laughs> uh, that pesky ego. So um, every week, uh, if you're just joining us or if you always join us every week we have an offertory selection where we um, play something for you you know a mini performance or whatever Um, uh, and during this time if you want to throw something into the virtual tip jar we're grateful if not we're grateful happy to have folks joining us do you see that little arrow that's the hop emoji that we have in this community hell yeah I love amazing amazing I need that so we came up with a little sassy set for you. We're going to start with the bird in the bush, uh, and then we're going to do two Ed Reavy uh, compositions, The Highest Hill in Sligo and The House of Hamel. What does offertory mean? I've never heard that before. It's like a church thing. It's okay, like when they okay. pass the collection plate uh, yeah, yeah. to give alms, I, I guess, originally for the poor or for the church sure, yeah, to it's... do programs for the community. Okay, that's yeah. the offertory moment. Yeah, okay. in this case, it's hell we yeah. play something and we say, <laughs> if you can see, throw something in the tip jar, I'll give some to um, Connor. So, hell yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I probably have heard that before. I grew up Catholic, but... I think that's what they call it in the Catholic Church, the offertory. I just blocked it out. (laughs) (laughs) Matt's father uh, was an organist, a church organist and composer, and so, yeah, I guess that seems like a common term for me. Cool, cool. All right, you want to start? Uh, yeah, it's the kind of like medium still or whatever. No, no, it's 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 right, okay, okay. up to it's um, up to whatever pace, whatever slow or fast you want. Sure. I'm gonna do mine fast. Okay, great. Yeah.
I could have kept going for a while. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> fun tunes. Beautiful tunes written there by the lovely Ed Reedy, who lived in Philadelphia most of his life. I don't think that Matt Heaton and Karen Casey are going to be in Philadelphia, but they will be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, in a week or so. So check out their tour schedule. That's why Matt's not here and why I get to play with Connor today, although we could do this another time as well. I'll yeah. be playing in Philadelphia and um, the day before St. Patrick's Day with Maura. So nice. Where else are you guys playing three, on your tour? 316 at the City Winery in Philadelphia. And then um, we're doing a show at for the Princeton Folk Music Society on St. Patrick's Day. So it's the St. Patrick's Day show nice. in Princeton, New Jersey, if there are any New Jersey folks about. So Where for else? your tour schedule, what's your website? Um, rakishmusic.com. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you can find out where Mora and uh, Connor are playing. I don't know why I said Mora and um Connor. I forget my name sometimes, too. <laughs> uh, back to kind of chill. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Slip jigs, mm -hmm. maybe? And Frank, your friend, is going to be checking out those wonderful drop D chords. Thank you. Anybody's welcome to them, right? I, I think so, yeah. If you can uh, get them from here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can slow it down on YouTube. Totally, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want on YouTube. And con buena mejor. Hello and welcome to you. So glad to have folks joining us. So we're going to play some beautiful slip jigs. The first one. That's so lovely. Also known as the Wheels of the World. There's a song, The Wheels of the World, with that melody. And then... Uh, cock and Hen. I'm trying to think of who I played these with. These are also in First 50, and I played them maybe with Nathan Corley. Uh, and then that's the third tune, Hunting the Hare. So... Hmm. One, two, three.
lovely. Those were some very tasty, kind of trendy, but also just perfect chords. Uh, the F sharp you, minor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yum. Like, that's a <laughs> master class there and how to play that slip jig. That was beautiful. Um, so I think we have time for just one more. And uh, join us, please, in three, in, in two weeks on the third Saturday of March, third Saturday of March. So we have reduced our virtual guided sessionings to the first and third um, Saturdays of the month. So we'll be back on the third Saturday with Mr. John Coyne in the stead of Matt Heaton and uh, Medford friends or Boston friends, Wednesday, March 22nd at the Medford Brewing Company, another Medford sesh, yeah. Medford, go Medford, Massachusetts. Um, and then uh, March 25th, I hope you will be part of our three year anniversary special. So we're doing the first wow. and third, you know, Saturdays is the normal uh, time. But um, yes, we're going to have a three year anniversary blowout. And um, if you're keen to make a very quick video on your phone, anything, and just say, hi, I'm Shannon Heaton. I have been part of the virtual guided session for the last three years, through which I've met a number of players who continue to inspire me. So thanks so much to everybody for being part of this. This kind of thing, if you wanna give your quick, quick name and a story, and you wanna send me a video um, on the Facebook page, there are instructions on how to do that, or just email me on how to do that. If you don't know how to email me, look at my website, shannonheatonmusic.com. There's a contact form there, and you can ask me how to do that. Would love to weave together some of these little video um, cool. into a collage, just for folks to see one another and celebrate. Um, so yes, for the March 18th virtual guided session with John Coyne, and also for the March 25th, third anniversary blowout um, by then our US clocks will spring forward but the European clocks don't spring forward till mm. after all that so you have to mind the clocks mind the clocks I can't wait uh, so we're going to finish with the lovely waltz called Westering Home. It's a beauty. And before we do, a big thank you to each and every one of you for joining us today. Connor, thank you for being part of this. Thanks so much for having me, Shannon. Thanks so much for joining me and letting me fill in for Matt's big shoes. <laughs> what, a, what a total treat. And Dominique, glad to have you joining us as well. Everybody, thank you. Dankuvel. Gramahagat. Ta palat. Merci beaucoup. Trugare. Arigato gozaimas. Muchas gracias. Tinkoya. Danke schön. Mille grazie. Tiete. Mkoi. Chvalavam. Toda. Tuzentak. Kamsamida. Efharisto. Chvalavam. Eskarikasko. Danyavat. Kiros. Ndatenda. Shukran. Mikwech. Yutva. Spasiba. Ahehe. Salamat. Tarima kasi. Dioch. Kusenem. Mito brigada. Gam un. Thank you so much, everybody, wow. for joining us. And um, amazing, uh, yes, to say thank you to folks. Hopefully, everybody, you know, people have tuned in from all those languages mm -hmm. and perhaps more. So if I didn't catch your language, please let me know so I make sure to acknowledge you. But all these people from all over meet us in English, so which cool. is so humbling yeah. and inspiring. So friends, Westering Home, and hope to see you on the third Saturday of the month.
much, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Claudia. Thanks, David. Really glad to have you all here and hope to see you soon.